Welcome back to Pops and Pylons. Let's play some more Europa Universalis 4. We're playing as the Genova people. Genova? I think I said I want to say Genova over in Australia because we're going for Australia Hungary, which we have to form Australia and, uh, well, subjugate Hungary. Now, I almost didn't record a video today because today was a pretty, pretty terrible day where some egomaniacal dictator declared war on a sovereign country in Europe, which is, it's terror that that goes, hits me harder than it hits uh, the other wars hit me. There's a lot of wars going on and they're bad, but this hits me a lot harder, maybe because I do live in Europe, but still. Um, so things happen today and it's terrible. And I would say if there's anybody um, in Ukraine watching this, <clears throat> that uh well i don't even know what to say <laughs> i'm definitely sorry for you uh which is not really a thing to say but unfortunately you're probably not busy watching me anyway it's hard to record today but i'm gonna to try anyway uh needless to say any of the case castles belly creation war declaration cultural conversion even bullshit we're doing in this game is not something that anybody should be doing in real life period all right, uh, I don't plan to do politics on this uh, this here channel, but it's just, it's not a good day. Now, what are we doing here? We are the Inuvi people. We're trying to form Australia. We've spread our tribal land far and wide. We've been, <laughs> you know, using our neighbors for political gain. We have been attacking them. We've been uh, making them for monarch points. We've been making them for um, power protection for even more monarch points. Of course, we've been trying to get money out of them because we're still waiting to become a horde, uh, which will hopefully allow us to form Australia. Uh, I'm going to unpause here, I think. Uh, I don't think we're planning anything immediately. I was looking at a war, if I remember correctly, against the Camilla Roy. But they have so many friends. I was also looking, I believe, at getting the corner to join my federation and leave theirs. Was it you? It doesn't look like it was you. No, it might have been you over here, Larakia. Yes, 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 these guys. But they can't join for another two years. So some time might have to pass. How are we doing devastation-wise? We're doing fine. How are we doing this-wise? We're doing fine. Good. And by this-wise, I mean <laughs> federal cohesion-wise. Uh, we don't seem to be getting an extra bonus for having four members that are all Aboriginal over three. But that's fine. We do get to pick another age objective here, our uh, age ability. I don't know if there's anything useful here for us. We're not colonizing, we don't care about cavalry, we don't care about war. I mean, I should take war taxes if it's a thing I... If I have nothing else to take, because that might save me a few ducats here and there. And yeah, I think it's actually what we're going for. I mean, the age is over very soon anyway, 68 months. It's highly unlikely we're going to use any of that at all. Okay, somebody moved up here. It was probably the Gumianji moving into Korang. I think so. Well, if they did, they chose a place that's quite devastated already. Hmm. Oh, well. Not my problem. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Vira Jury could be another target, or our next target, with eight development there. Still quite a bit of devastation going on, but we could go Bujid Lung into Bujid Vira Jury sometime soon-ish. Um, Eora. Actually seems to be a decent place. That is a five four two place. That's pretty good. So if these Aura move out there and the devastation goes away, we might be able to or we might be interested in going there as well. Also a natural harbor. Making us some more money wouldn't be too bad. And I don't think we need to take this dip tech just yet. No real reason to do so. Uh, I do still have an understand merchant and it irks me. But we have no words to trade. We don't even know of any other trade nodes. We just know Australia, which is, you know, it's fitting. But... Ugh. <laughs> Wouldn't mind making some more money. Although, I don't know what other trade node we would know that actually helps us here. 
like the what's the triangle called Polynesian triangle or something does that lead into Australia it might do we have any incoming notes we do have one and that is will the game tell me no but I feel like it's the yeah, from the south is that the Polynesian triangle I don't know I don't know it's highly unlikely that steering from there would do anything for us much now uh we just lost a valid rival i think can we rival them again yeah because the game is being weird with this uh we can also pop another federation ability i wonder if we do go for unified warbands we already have joint grand opposed even though that's not visible here but we have them uh i mean because produce 10 percent is just nice I don't think anything else matters much, except for maybe Unified Warbands. Just being able to call an all federation instead of just a few of our friends. Not sure how relevant that is. You just take the cash money. It's just not particularly relevant either. And it's been a great province uh, because of our beer making capabilities. Hmm. Warbands? Money. Let's go money. Terrific news. Pax Americana? Really? <laughs> uh, five prestige or Spanish Rock. Well, take the five prestige. Not that it matters. Come home from the court. Now, why was I talking to you? I could ally you. I mean, I don't want another ally. Well, we might have been preparing these guys for a breaking of um, Federation kind of thing. Which might mean we want to go there and curry some favors. Try to get to 10. Indulgent. I have not been very lucky with our rulers. <laughs> I mean, this one. This was the first positive ability we had in our rulers. I don't remember. But we had a lot of negative abilities before. And 332 is still better than our terrible ruler that we had before. But still. Starting to wonder whether that's a part of our travel nature that we just don't get rulers that are as good. Which seems. Yeah, at least like a weird statement. No CB, sure, but you don't have too many friends. <laughs> Is that a reason to go to war now? Yeah, good go for trade conflict. I don't know that that does anything for me. Can't do conquest. Uh, hmm. It's probably not a cast belly I want to look at too much. I'd love it if we had the. Well, I just have to move next to these guys to get the cast belly, right? I think so. I think if I move next to them, I get the. whatever the cast belly is called. Um, humiliate. Simply humiliate. Simple, easy. Okay, it's June 1509. Which I believe should be the time where we can get you into our federation. Wait, where did you go? Wait, oh, there you are. Where's my... Where's this closed off now? All right, all right, all right. Uh, come home from the... Nyonga, I think. It's a long way to go. And get these people into my federation. Hoping I didn't just break other federation... Other staying in my federation intentions. Uh, no. What, to join? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I read this as... Uh, requesting to lead. Uh, they just uh, requested joining at the same time that we um, asked them. And that's all that happened. So we're no longer powerful enough for everybody else to feel like we should be the leader because our maximum manpower dropped down again. Which is crazy considering that we're running a manpower person here. But it is due to our devastation. I think we should run another move. The aid development in Bujaduri would be nice, but there's still a lot of devastation there. So maybe just go to Bujahang. Bujahang? Sure. We did add this to our tribal land. Good. So let's migrate. 76? 
Why is that 76 suddenly? We've been migrating to places that were not in ours. Yeah, this is what we're used to paying. We're paying that much for non travel land before as well. Which was weird, because it's supposed to be cheaper in travel land. I don't know what it suddenly costs me actual, actual cash money to move. I still do it. But that's a lot of mail. No, I'm not loving it. Livestock. Somehow that gave me another building slot. How? Oh, because we moved into grasslands? That's funny. <laughs> because we do get to keep the building once we move out. Uh, which one of these do we want? I mean, production efficiency is just... It's a lot. I don't even know whether I want production efficiency or goods produced. Hmm. Probably the three sisters feed with the goods produced, but I don't actually know that that's correct. Or we go for the Great Trail. I might just want to go for the Great Trail. It's less money, but it will help us a ton with our tribal growth. Questions do we care, right? Because we don't care, really care about these effects much at all. And sure, at the end, there's the federal constitution, which integrates the whole federation and makes us a kingdom. But I'm pretty sure that is going to stop once we go for the Great Plains calling to us anyway. Right, we're going to lose this whole natives thing. And um, then we... I'm pretty sure we just won't get the ability to integrate our federation. And that seems likely. So maybe focusing on this is just wrong. Interestingly enough, on move didn't fix anything. Well, maybe we need to pass a month. I'm tempted to not build the, well, not the sweat lodge. Not build the great trail, but just plop down a three sisters field. Yeah. Not sure it's right, but it's very tempting. Okay, here's Humiliate, here's Travel Border Feud. Also, these guys have the same color as we do, so that's just not, not something anybody should ever be allowed to. The Corner and the Palawa. Which, what are we looking at here? Tech four to our tech six, seven K peak below. And they did just stop their, their drilling because they're not daft. Lava, tech four, 5k people, and you. It's unfortunate because we've been working on getting these guys out of the Federation, but I think I might just not want to wait that long. You know, if there's a neighbor and they have stuff you want, you really should attack them. It's just a prudent thing to do, especially if they're weaker, you feel powerful. I did say I want to keep politics out of this. I'm trying, all right? Um, how about I have my ruler military command? That's actually not too shabby, considered what we've seen before, <laughs> considering. Let's punch. I think we punch. I do declare I want to humiliate you. That's going to be good. Oh, your fortune dairy is not coming in. Dang. Where did you find those friends? Aren't they my friends too? They are. I have um, favors with you. Tons. Can I make you break your alliance to the Orans? I can. <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> it's really not in your interest to be allied to those people because I'm going to attack them. You, you know? Better to move your diplomats out already. Uh, humiliate. Three, two, one. Sure, we're hopelessly outnumbered. 
Oh, that'll be fine, he says. Crushingly. <laughs> Thanks for the forced migration cards, Billy. And once again, I did stack by those folks, which is problematic. Because we're going to see large numbers of enemies pour in here, I think. I'm going to go down to speed 4 because I don't necessarily want to play wars at speed 5. And ideally, they're too afraid of our troops to do anything much here. What's this about, Wooden Dairy? What is this about? Where are you going? Confused. I'm just looking for the seven cities of gold? <laughs> What is this? AI? Why? So, uh, I don't want to paint a too positive a picture here because things might just go wrong. But, um, it currently looks as if we can just siege this down without interference from the others, which would give us a huge lack up in the war, and the ability to peace out if we must. I don't want to just peace out, but if I have to, I will. And it's a good sign that they're so afraid of me that they're not not coming in here. Uh, I should really press the war reps button though. Uh, not war reps, the war taxes button, which is here and free. And it has been changed at some point that, I can, that you can just keep that running. It will only cost you something at war. And if you have um, the age ability that we have, it costs you nothing at war. Still, I will need to remember to turn it off at the end of the war. Well, not the war, the age, which is kind of soon. Because otherwise I will have to pay, and I don't want to pay for war taxes. I'm not paying mark points for money. It's very rare that I want to do that. Obviously, always depends on the numbers. I'd pay a mark point for a lot of money. <laughs> that would be acceptable. Getting the siege down would also be acceptable. Uh, what's your face here? Monty? Monty. Come on, Monty. There we go. The full Monty got it done. Now, ideally, we get to fight some of the... Um, enemies here without fighting all of them. That's 11,000 Palavans. That's certainly a lot of them. Whoa. Okay. Hey Palava, how do you feel about fully, being fully occupied? You don't love it. We have to see how quickly they can uh, threaten my my occupation here, and probably my capital too. I don't know if we get them to a. Oh, they just went to less interested, less uninterested. Oh, they must count their occupation, or their attempt to deoccupy against my attempt to occupy here. Hmm. What about the corner? If I had a minus 40 against you, would you get out? No, you wouldn't. Let's threaten them. I can't win this siege race. That'd be bad. I don't know if I can win a battle. But I can't win the siege race. I wonder what happens if I attack into Bujalung. Are they going to protect or not? We risk this. I think I will. Did this outbreak? Nice. They're not stopping their siege yet. Bam! That's 7,000 folks down the drain. All the coordinates. Which probably means I can piece them out 
Oh, I could piece them out if I move my army here. I could. But that's not something I really want to do. Question is, do I want to hit these? The 2-2 two, two is annoying. It's better than rolls than I have. Now I have the lot much better tech. And they, yeah, it looks like they're outflanking me like crazy. But they're not, because there's not a lot of flanking going on here. Those four siege, that's four siege pips. Four. <laughs> that's just utterly crazy. Um, I could swap to a discipline advisor. Could swap to a morale advisor, which might be even better. That's expensive. Let's grab the disciplined person. And fighting that battle might just be a bad idea. Oh, you got a wall rage. I want to attack in such a way that we arrive in February. There. Let's see if we can fight this. Why did I get a minus one here? That's a plus one. <laughs> <laughs> That's from the terrain of capital bonus that we have. Just, I forgot that it looks weird. Okay, crush that. Killed more than double their size, although they had more than double our troops. But I don't know, more than double, but that a lot of troops there. Now, we could just get these folks to leave. I would like more than them leaving. I would like them to actually be gone. You have 6k, you have 0. Who are these th other folks? Oh, the extra Orans themselves. Wait, you're still not getting peace out? Oh, it's corner. I'm going to talk to Wujan Dairy. Wait, uh, these folks. You. So for peace. Just beat up your whole army and you say you have military strength left? Sometimes I don't get AI. Ooh. Speaking of not getting AI, this means attacking into a river crossing, which is probably bad. Oh, they have no maneuver. I have one maneuver. That's all that I need. Crunch. Okay, backup is here, but we're gonna crunch first. And then uh, ask questions while crunching. Come on in, friend. Oh, that was quite good. Who's alive? Aora. I'm unsure if this is a smart move. But I'm gonna try this. Uh, so I'm sending my small stacks to just sit on these capitals for a moment. Oof, my reputation was tarnished. Uh, the reason we're sitting on these capitals is simply to avoid them rebuilding troops. I still need a mass of the mint. I do not. So I can run production efficiency person and makes a little more money. So these two stacks are merely there to avoid reinforcements. While my main stack is trying to hunt down these folks. I don't know how far they're gonna run. Well now we do. Can I catch them? Probably not, eh? Nah. Okay, would have been nice to catch them. But you can't catch them all. So now the plan is siege down one of these places, siege down the other of the places, piece each of them out for whatever I can get. Is any of them my rival? I think not. Oh, I lost all my rivals anyway. Should have reconsidered that before the war. I think we lost the Miller Roy or whatever. No, not the Camilla Roy, the Mianjin. Uh, during the war, after I declared, but I don't know when I lost the other folks. I can pr 
probably reduce my siege attack size here, right? Considering that we see when the enemy is coming. <laughs> Speaking of, I'm gonna start sieging down Bujurung or try to siege back Eora. Okay, H has ended. We want to stop paying for war taxes. Look at me, I remembered. Yeah, it's possible that we win that race. We're ahead. But they still have their four pip generals, so probably no. I'm just gonna leave you. This. Yeah, <laughs> Trixie B. So they got me to leave, and then they also left. But we didn't stop our siege progress, right? We had kept a few people there to keep the siege up. Which made these folks... Well, means we can just continue where we left off, rather than having to restart, as the AI usually does. Okay, down you go. Now this gets slightly more complicated, I suppose. Let's see what the enemy does if I move over there. The reason I'm saying that is because we're now further away. A part of our army is further away. And um, that might, making, might make your reaction more difficult. All right, what can I sue you, you for? Since you're not a rival, we can't ask you for anything but money. <laughs> but money. Um, well, finish your capital, just, you know, for shite and giggles. And break some alliances, sure. Don't want to take money, probably not. <laughs> 1.2 inflation for 60 ducats. This game. Shift price, mouse button, there we go. Okay, short piece deal. No need to do anything else here. Just do it. Really for themselves? Yes. Always make sure that that's true, otherwise you will accidentally get into positions that you don't want to be. Maybe United the Tribes. Three of my Federation members. Wait, we should have had that before, shouldn't we? Hey, didn't trigger a war or something? Hmm. I don't know. Um... Uh, Two countries, allied and like me. That doesn't seem too tough. Acquire uh, subjects, that does seem kind of rough for now. I don't think I want to go uniting the tribes just yet. Simply because we're kind of capping on dip right now. There's no point in more dip when we're not even spending the dip we have. And it might just lead me into cap situations earlier. Also, rip my voice. Holy fudge. Um, speaking of holy fudge, how about I sit on Eora a bit? Because there's still money in that there, Eora. You know, that seems like a thing we shouldn't let happen. What's my federation doing these days? Hey, it's growing. Not right now, it's not, but it was growing, <laughs> apparently. Um, I will want to swap back to the manpower person as soon as I feel we don't care about the um, discipline anymore. So again, well, essentially as soon as we have the Siege of Corner done, then we know there's not going to be any battles anymore, and then we can just go and swap back to a more useful um, place there. Uh, yeah, I'll buy my for 25 trade power again. Thank you very much. Good price. Actually, decent money I could have looted here. I won't be able to loot it all now, but if I, if I had started earlier, I could have made a few ducats. Don't go corner. Piece them out. For probably the same things. Pillage capital does nothing. And your alliances, because I can. That's that? Sure. 
meaning for themselves, on my site. Get over here. Get me my other piece deal in a moment. Uh, I'll take 50 Atman. Peace deal, and we're looking for show strength. Can we afford it? I think we can, right? Yeah, easily. Easily. Show that strength. Go ahead and rival, folks. We're going to rival, I guess, rival the Camilleroy because they rivaled me. The Mianjin because they rivaled me. And maybe the Yongthim? Let's do the Yongthim. Because I might want to go to war with them. And we just pieced out the Oran. Oh, you pieced out everybody here, but. Among other things, the Orans. We just moved out. I mean, we did. Devastate the heck out of the land. Which is kind of a problem. No, we just have to move back into Barunga, which is actually good for us, right? That's Camilleroy land. Claiming to be grain right now. <laughs> which is probably not. But yeah, I think I want to migrate back. 75 is a lot of devastation to have. Zero is a lot better. Let's migrate for 38 mil. And might already be looking better here. We are not. But now if I go back to having a... Oh. Hmm. Can I assume the advisor would still be available? But they're not. Just cycled one? I don't know if that... I don't know if that's the right thing to do. Well, never a strong word. They're feeling like it's worth spending some money for the chance at growth. But you left our federation already? You just joined us. What happened? Oh, I'm grazing in your federation friend's tribal land? What? So you joined another federation? No. And the Camilleroy are not in my federation, right? No. And why would you say that we're grazing in your federation friend's tribal land? I mean, that might just be leftover, but... Like, you just hate us again. Maybe you hated us before. That's probably what happened. They left their federation because they hated that, but they still hate the TB. And that's why they're no longer in our federation. It probably means we have a decay now, and that it does... Does mean exactly that. Um, <laughs> really want a manpower guy? Maybe I should have built that manpower building. I didn't really reckon with decreasing um, unity there. It's not called unity. Cohesion. Mmm. There is a miss Mings because we have Admin Tech 4 available, uh, 5, which means an idea group. And I don't know yet what we're going to do with that. At all. I haven't even thought about it. Ooh, no, I did think a little bit about it ages ago. Because we get the chance to take indigenous ideas. Travel development growth. Okay. Attrition. Reform progress modifier. I mean. Royal of Armies, Manpower Modifier, Idea Cost Reduction, Province War Score Cost, and Institution Spread. That's a, that's a weird, that's a weird one. Morale is very cool, obviously. Manpower would be nice right now, but I don't know if it's nice in five ideas. Idea Cost Reduction is nice overall. Hmm, maybe. I think this is good. Do you have any cool cool combinations? I mean, we've never taken this, so... War on our terms with exploration ideas. Now that's... 
10% morale and 2.5% discipline? Okay, okay. Hmm. What else do we have here? Anything else cool? Because I don't know that I want exploration ideas. And maybe I do. We have to get to Hungary somehow. Maybe we do want exploration ideas. Colonial range, trade range. Plus one missionary. Yeah, with religious ideas. That's always so funny. If you already have religious ideas, you already have missionaries out of a zoo, right? You don't need another missionary. I think I want it. I think I want indigenous ideas. If only because we've never done it before. And then exploration might be second. Yeah, I'm tempted. Let's just do it. 909. Do it. It does mean that we're not taking a dipl diplomatic idea group first. Which... Doesn't give us a good use for our Diplo points. But I still think I'm okay with it. We still can't build any rear boats, so exploration ideas don't make any sense. No, 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 let's go with indigenous. Even just to have them. And I immediately take the tribal development growth, of course. And my innovativeness is decreasing. I have innovativeness? Oh. <laughs> oh, because nobody else took um, indigenous ideas yet. That makes a certain amount of sense i suppose you know what else makes sense putting a cut in here thank you so much for watching like what you're seeing as always please do hit that like button subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and if you have anything to say then please do so down there in the comment section thank you for watching see you folks next time